must save her. My daughter. How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here, back in Hyrule playing some more Breath of the Wild for you today. As always, I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Uh, we're just chilling up here on top of a very tall tree in a very cold place. Let's go ahead and jump back down here because I saw something of interest buried in this snow. <laughs> Let's check out see what we found. Ooh, a royal halberd. Actually, uh, I think I'm good. I have a lot of really good weapons. I don't really want to get rid of any of them. So I already have a Royal Halberd in fact. So yeah, no thank you, but I'll leave it there for the next adventurer. <laughs> so we are going to be continuing our EX Champion Urbosa song right where we left off in the last episode. And we have to fight the brew of the sand and throw the orb underground and then of course, fight Thunder Blight Ganon. Hopefully, we'll be able to do all of those in this episode. Whew. All right, so let's do the uh, throw the orb underground. And uh, that one is actually somewhere around here in the Yiga Clan hideout. In fact, I think it's more, more by the back door, but we'll find out. So basically, I just need to go straight south from where I'm currently at. And we should be able to get there very easily. But first, what do we have here? Looks empty. Oh, nope. Just took a while to load. Alright, well, let's just get right to business. No survivors, sorry. Hey, buddy. I just killed your lookout. <laughs> I'm taking all of your loot too. <laughs> Ooh, five bomb arrows. I appreciate it. Thanks, bro. Let's not do that. Ooh, there's an explosive barrel up there. Did you guys see that? Let's use that to our advantage. No, 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 no. I'm not going to die from these stupid bats. Ooh, another chest. You guys didn't even know you were sitting on top of this loot this whole time. A hundred rupees. Wow, there's ice bats just chilling on the bottom of this thing. Another chest? Man, we're getting rich up here. Purple rupee, not bad. All right, where were we? Oh yeah. Hey guys, did you forget about me or what? <laughs> Come on. Fire versus ice, let's go. You guys are a terrible shot. All right, you know what? Let's kick it up a notch. Man, you actually took the stairs the whole way down. Ah, uh, you know what? He has a lot of health. Let's, um... Should we use a great flame blade? I mean, we might as well. Let's shock everybody. That will just calm everybody down for a moment while we do this. They, they are regaining health, unfortunately. I do not have another Urbosa's Fury. Man, you have a lot of health. All right, you know what? He's taking way too long. Let's eat something to boost our attack. You're still alive. Finally. Look at him, he's frozen. Now they both are. Oh, he's flying. He's going so far. Ooh, let's use this. Look at him. Alright, I don't like you shooting ice arrows at me, so can we please stop doing that? Thank you. 
Ooh, 10 ice arrows and a knight's bow. He's still frozen. Golden bow. Wow, this zooms in huge. <laughs> hey, buddy. You're having a hard day, aren't you, buddy? Uh, do I have a worse bow? I mean... These bows are just so cool. I guess this one's probably worse. Yeah, slightly. You pick up the bow, and you have ice arrows as well. Beautiful. I mean, we are not gonna pass up a camp full of enemies, right? Might as well just... A knight's broadsword? That's a good weapon too, man. Is it better than the one I got? No, I guess it's equal. Oh well. This one has new durability. Uh, did I actually leave any loot up here? Let's just check real quick before we move on. We're actually very close to the Yuga clan hideout entrance, so it's not that far from here. And I think we got everything. All right, in that case, uh, see you guys. Actually, yeah, we're right on top of it. Oh my gosh. Let's, let's fly. Ooh, the game actually lagged a little bit. Let's fly over the pit. Whoa. It's really deep. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Anything? Oh, yeah. So the door is open. Let's let's talk to these guys. Hi. I hear the Yiga clan were taken out by a traveling swordsman, and yet there are still an awful lot of them around. They seem to be hoarding bananas, too. Maybe they're still up to no good. I know one thing for sure. The orb they stole from the Gerudo tribe is in their second floor storage area. Oh. But getting there is too dangerous. Staying alive is essential to being a great treasure hunter. So the orb is in fact in there. And then we have to throw the orb into the pit. Oh. Hmm, are you looking for treasure too? The Yiga clan, they took one of the Gerudo tribe's treasures in there. A sacred orb or something. It looked like it could sell for a high price. So I followed them. But well, now I'm thinking I should probably back away while I still can. Wait, you don't think you're not planning to throw the sacred orb into that big gaping hole like the old legend says, right? <laughs> don't you worry about that. All right, um, let's actually put on our sneaking armor, but I'm not going to use the uh, typical sneaking armor, no. I could use the uh, stealth mask and all that stuff, but we're going to kick it up a notch because we have Phantom Ganon. They'll never suspect us. Not only will be... Will we be super stealthy? But if we get caught, we're the boss. All right. So let's see. Where, where, what are we doing in here? We need to. F I guess there's nobody right here. Duplex bow is good, but not compared to what I have. Let's just take all the free bananas and arrows. Would it be Zelda if I didn't throw a pot every now and then? All right, I'm assuming the, the guys are in here. Oh, yeah. And if they blow the whistle, they will alert everyone. All right, so I can do stealth attacks on them, but I don't even think it would one shot the big boys. Maybe it does. I don't remember. If it doesn't, I'm in big trouble, though. They'll blow the whistle for sure. All right, I need to get by this dude, but I, I'm not in the right place, I guess. Oh, nice. Got the Master Sword back. All right, that was actually easier than expected. There was a lot of loot, but I don't even want to mess with that right now. So the orb. Ooh, I see it. Yep. When they said second floor, I knew it had to be up here. And again, with all these free bananas. It'd be a shame to leave them here to rot. We better take them. My pockets have infinite storage and they stay forever in perfect ripeness. <laughs> all right. Now the tricky part is getting the orb out of here. 
so basically... The way out, I don't even remember. I think it's this way, no? But this dude is right here, so... Actually, no. The way out was that way. I don't even remember which way was the way out, but... Here we go. Oh boy. That was close. Does he walk around this, or does he just turn around? He just turns around. You, just, you saw nothing. You saw... Nothing. Here we go. Is this the way? Oh yeah. So easy! We didn't even get detected! Wow, I thought for sure. I mean, he we kind of did, but it actually was a decoy, you know what I mean? Hey, uh... Lady, are you watching this? <laughs> did I do the right thing? <laughs> I guess so. Give me that shrine. Oh yeah. Hopefully it's an easy shrine because honestly even though I made that stealth part look easy, we got lucky, let's be real. Having a full stealth armor set really helps. Oh my gosh, I almost just ran straight forward. Let's go talk to the lady real quick. Oh look, she's running over here. You're throwing away treasure? You do realize how wasteful that is, right? If you don't want it, <laughs> I would have been happy to take it off your hands. Mm. Oh, you threw the precious treasure down below. What were you thinking? Do you guys not see the sacred shrine that appeared? Don't you think like possibly there could be even greater treasure in here? <laughs> You guys have no imagination. Let me do all the hard work. And take all the treasure. Not gonna lie, I look pretty awesome with this Phantom Ganon armor. This is from uh, Ocarina of Time in the Forest Temple. You fight Phantom Ganon as a boss. He like comes, he like runs on his horse inside of paintings and you have to like Oh wow, this is crazy. Look at all the colored orbs. So we got red, green, orange, and purple. And we got a giant box, which is full of orbs. Oh. Am I supposed to count how many of each color there are? All right, so let's start with red. I see one only one red orb right guys pretty dang sure there's only one all right so let's take the red orb and put it in see the torches are one two three four five so let's put the red in one don't know if that's right or not until we do all four. <laughs> all right, now uh, green. Oh, there's a lot of green. I see two right off the bat. Possibly three. One, two. We're gonna have to spin it up. Jumble it up so I can see them better. I see two green ones, right? Three? One, two. Man, that is really hard to tell. <laughs> this is a bad puzzle. I think there's two, but some of those spheres, it's like you can't even tell what they are. They just look pure black almost. So, I think there's actually only two. 
green ones. All right, we'll just guess two. If it's right, awesome. If it's not, we might come back to this one. Because I'm not... It, it's hard because the reflection of the light shines on some that don't have any color. All right, now orange. One. Two. Two orange. Two orange. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Two orange. Man, that is really hard to tell sometimes. Alright, and last but not least, we have the purple with the stripes. I see one, two, three, four. Four purple with the stripes. Please be right. Please be right. Am I right? First try. Yes! Oh, it took a while, but we, we got it first try. It threw me off when I, when I noticed there was orbs with no color at all. Wait a minute. So where's the chest? Ah, uh, what's over here? Oh, it wants to know how many of those ones there are. So it does want to know. Come on. I think there was two. Honestly, if I... Where's the orb? How do... Oh, wait. How, can I take this? Where's the orb that I actually have to put in there? I'm confused. There's got to be an orb I can pick up, a black one. Or do I just take one of these? Well, let's see how many there are, first of all. There's one, two, three. Let's jumble it up. I'm pretty sure there's three. Uh, I just realized that thing had like little slots and looked like it could move. Let's open it up. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. And then we're gonna take this and put it in there. <laughs> no, 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 too far. Man, that took me a while to figure out. But we got it. I ain't leaving without the chest. Oh, a thunder spear. That was well worth. Nah, we're going to have to get rid of uh, something, guys. I don't know. I guess I'm getting rid of the uh, royal halberd. Nah, it does way too much damage, man. Dang, this is a hard choice. I don't really want to get rid of any. I, I love the way the guardian spear looks, but I guess the knight's broadsword. <laughs> Bye-bye. Even though I do like swords over uh, spears because I can use my shield. But this is just a rare and amazing weapon. All right, cool. So let's go grab the monk and then head on to the next challenge, which will be an epic fight. We have to go fight one of those giant sand beasts in the desert. The Mulduga. Got our second emblem, no problem. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. One remains. I can't skip this, by the way. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would. No offense to this cool monk. All right, one more challenge and then the final test.
Then we get the upgraded Urbosa's Fury where it cools down even faster so we can use it more often. Oh, yeah. The most OP power up. Easy. Easy peasy. All right, so we are done with this one. Let's go ahead and delete the pin. And the last one we have to do is the Brute in the Sand, which should be right around here. Actually, we can just warp right to the Mise, Mise Suma Shrine. Should take us right there. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to change my outfit because we're going to be in the heat of the desert. Actually, I need to make sure that it's daytime because if it switches to nighttime while I'm fighting, it'll just slowly take away my health and that'll be annoying. I'll see what time it is. Because this, this battle might take a few minutes. Uh, it's only 8 a.m. Perfect. All right, let's just head straight east, which is right here. Too bad I don't have a sand seal to help me out. I'm actually not sweating yet, but I, oh yeah, I am actually. <laughs> Let's let's use my sand boots and We're looking really nice now So the challenge Should just be anywhere around here somewhere I Don't have your fury at the moment But it is recharging I might be able to use it during the fight, but I don't know. In fact, what weapon should we use? I guess we'll start out with the Master Sword as always, and then we can go from there. Um, I'm u I mean, I have so many good shields, guys. Like, it's ridiculous. Alright. Oh, there you ready. go. Urbosa's Fury is, is already ready. Too bad I don't have a sand seal, but at least I have a lot of stamina. And it's a shame you can't summon your horse. Horses can walk on sand, come on. Oh, I see it. Okay, it's Moldu King. It's not just a regular Molduga, it's the King Molduga. And if I remember correctly, we need, oh my goodness. Beautiful. I think we need to attract its attention. Maybe we need to get a little bit closer. I know it can detect uh, sound waves pretty easily. How about over here? Hey, big boy, where you at? Oh. Sheesh. What is it doing jumping out of the sand like that? Uh, I think it's coming. Bro, I can't even get close to it. Oh, now it sees me. Please don't be able to break the ruins. That would be unfortunate. Yes, go that way. Yes. That didn't work. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Don't eat me. He could probably eat me in one gulp. How do I make sound go right there? I'm gonna have to be the decoy. Come over here. Yo, dummy. Bro. I can't, he's... <laughs> no, eat this. Oh yes, I got it that time, I think. Yeah! How you like it? Oh, you got weapons all stuck in you.
Oh, he is weak against lightning. Oh my! Mifa, thank you. He just one-shot us. That was sick. Yeah, stop trying to do that. <laughs> the sound he makes. Easy. Told you guys it would be easy. <sighs> Once I hit him with that first Urbosa's Fury, I remembered he's actually weak to lightning. I should have just used my lightning spear. Oh well. Or literally, the three Urbosa's Fury alone took 90% of his health, probably, if not more. Perfect timing on the fully replenished Urbosa's Fury, right? Ooh, let's get his loot. Three treasure chests were inside of him, and all these weapons. Golden Claymore, Throwing Spear, Gerudo Spear, Rusty Halberd. Whoa. Golden Claymore. Uh, I guess we can swap. Dang, I have too many good... Man, I need more weapon slots. There's just too many good weapons. Let's check the uh, chest. Wow, that's a good bow. 52 attack. No, we're taking that one. Uh, for sure. Sorry, golden bow, but you're... Cons <laughs> I'll just put the golden bow with the rest of those golden weapons. They're cool, but they're actually not... The best. A radiant shield. It's beautiful. Wow. No, we're taking it. We anytime I find a radiant shield, we're taking it. I'll drop the one I'm using. I don't care. If it's lower stats, it's not as beautiful. Look at that. It's so awesome. And the final chest. What? Another radiant? No way! No way! We're taking it! Wow! I can't believe we got two radiant shields out of that. Alright, there's the uh, shrine, right? Whew. Wow, two radiant shields? Dang, that was a good loot. And all those golden weapons. Too bad we just have so much. We so many weapons, it's not even fair. Let's do, uh, but we, we've earned them, I mean, but still. I kind of, like, people complain they break, but it's like, I wish they would break faster almost, because I just, I have to leave really good weapons on the ground all the time. All right, let's do it. Hopefully this shrine is a good one. Not sure if we'll be able to do much after this shrine, though, because we'll be pushing 30 minutes, but it's all good. If we if we finish this shrine fast, maybe we'll go do the boss. The uh, big or small, the Kiev Tala shrine. Okay. So this one looks like I'm gonna have to be using Magnesis. Can I just put these balls closer? Ah, but it doesn't keep. Ooh, all right. We got some cubes here to help us out. Let's put one of these in here. It electrifies the water in a pretty big area. And then we're gonna need another cube probably. Maybe right here. Ooh, that raises that up. Maybe we use this. This, we gotta wrap around the pole. Oh, it's glitching. And then here. Ooh. I actually need one more. I need this big one, huh? Unless there's another cube I'm not seeing. Wait, what is this? 
Ooh, cool. Oh, I see. That's probably close enough. That one, I'm not so sure. Oh, that's right on. Right on. Oh, that's, that's probably good. We just have to electrify it. And to do that, we do need... I need like another chain or something. This is crazy. It won't reach that far, will it? Nah. I'm thinking like we do this. You know what I mean? And then this will connect these two, but I feel like I'm missing cubes. Where are they? There has to be something I'm not noticing. We have to leave them here, right? Like I can't take this. So that one has to go there. Oh, I guess we don't have to power the lift forever. Only until it's up there, right? Then we can take this one. There we go. There we go. Everything is working. <laughs> and, and the other door too? Yep. Oh, we did both at once. Oh, that was so satisfying. Though we didn't get the cutscene for this one. What do we get? No way! No way! Three radiant shields in one episode. Wow! I don't even care, we're dropping it. I am rich. People are gonna think I'm like duplicating items. Oh my goodness. And these two are increased defense and this one is increased durability. Wow, guys. That's actually crazy. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the medallion. Our emblem. Naboris's emblem. Now that you've collected all three emblems, you must go to Divine Beast Von Naboris and fight... A battle in your mind. Epic. Well, guys, pretty solid episode, if I say so myself. We made a lot of good progress. And I am rich with weapons and armor and items. Amazing. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please drop a like. It really helps out the series. And I think I'm going to see what was up here because I noticed there was fire. What are you doing up here? Just camping out? Hmm. What is this? Could it be? Are you that pretty gal I saw in Gerudo Town? Wait. I'm right, aren't I? Don't try to hide it. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you wear. These eyes are all... Uh, <laughs> these eyes see all. Tracy wasn't born yesterday after all. Speaking in third person, are we? <laughs> Link. <laughs> oh, I see. It's because only women can enter Gerudo Town. Clever boy. That's quite the scoop, but I'm sure you had your reasons. I'll keep that gossip to myself. That's called integrity. Oh, she's like, uh, she works for the newspaper or whatever. You there. <gasps> I saw everything. I can't believe you were able to defeat that weird Molduga. I'm speechless. Me. Okay, not really, but this has scoop written all over it. Mind if I write a tell-all about you? Go for it. <laughs> Link. Uh. I see, how unfortunate. You would have been a swimming in female attention and adoring fans, you know. I mean it, you're that impressive. Welp, that's your decision to mess up. <clears throat> I'll just have to dig around Gerudo Town for m way more interesting scoops. Yeah, sure, way more interesting. Enjoy the cold. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't leave her in the cold, guys. Chill. Wow, why'd it get dark all of a sudden? All right, guys. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode. Take it easy, friends.